will need the host of Spiritual Drive Show. She a many mama play here here playing power that power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show so. Aha, the share mum 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 the mum we tell say. Obi da so da na we need Obi da. Obi so da na we did. Anna said Obi our pan here one year ever die. Anna said the real bit is a stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, hepatitis B. And I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet this can see me now. I will show you so. There was a your bomb fire mound, Mama, the bomb fire mound. There was a dear blue cow on so, a blue oil on so, and a bear cow, Amawanya, a Wamoto, and Auntie. She are many disciples. If you are the new Rivia, a brave one on the tree, a good one. I will collect TV. Myself with the disciple near the host of Spiritual Drive Show. She a many mama play here here playing power that power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show. So aha, the share mum 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 the mum we tell say. Obi da so da na we need Obi da. Obi so da na we did. Anna said Obi our pan here one. Great, great. Uh, I believe today the sound is okay. Yesterday, <laughs> uh, wha wha one funny thing happened uh, last Friday. A uh, producer told me he's traveling to the countryside to go and celebrate Christmas. And I told him, uh, Click, we are not going on break. We are here to serve uh, you and then the rest. Uh, this gentleman did not listen to uh, my advice. I went ahead and then uh, enjoyed himself. He went on Friday night after program. So the whole of the Friday night, I think, was enjoyment. Saturday was enjoyment. Sunday, instead of setting off to come and rest for Monday, he decided to uh, enjoy himself and set off at dawn. He got here around 10 a.m., which apparently classes started at 3 p.m. So he could not have enough time to rest because I was preparing to come on air. Now, this gentleman came comfortably, left his traveling luggage here in the studio, uh, and unfortunately, he started sleeping. So yesterday, the beginning of the lectures, for a whole 20 minutes, had no sound. And he's not the only person involved. <laughs> there are two. Uh, as time goes on, I'll let you know the other one. Uh, these are young men, they are vibrant, uh, no matter what you tell them, they want to enjoy. And I'm so happy when he, le uh, he went, something terrible happened to him. It could have happened to him, but uh, the creator diverted it and it happened to his phone. So he had to buy a new iPhone, which I'm very, very happy because money that he had not budgeted to use yesterday, he used it and I was very happy. Next time, when you advise him, I believe you will take it. Uh, that is uh, your producer for you. Uh, he went for enjoyment to enjoy himself during the Christmas. Anyway, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you at home. Uh, uh, wherever you are, I know you are enjoying your holidays and uh, as you know, click we never rest because we are always looking forward to bring you an educative uh, topics that will help you depending on the occasion that you find yourself. Remember that Christmas comes with a lot of tension okay it comes with a lot of tension a lot of uh, familiar uh, spirits that create tension around you now they give you the desire to spend more but remember that you have a whole lot of uh, projects ahead of you you have school fees to pay maybe you have uh, rent or other bills to pay so please uh, don't waste all on just a two days festival uh, 
festive activities and then focus on what is ahead of you uh, for you achieve whatever you are requesting for uh, that is the short advice for you anyway for this christmas and then the new year coming to each and every one of you in click telegram class english version i say welcome once again to will this be the last edition of the english class for 2021 okay so uh let me say a very very thank you to each and every one of you in the english class who who always come to class to listen and then practice wherever you are thank you we are ending the 2021 last section of the english telegram class so if today you are part of it you are blessed because we discuss so many plants and what they can do for you physical and spiritual first of all let's go to alfalfa plant producer can you put alfalfa plant on the screen for them to see how it looks like we've treated this in the tree class the Ghanaian language class but uh, for that, those of you in the english class we haven't we haven't so uh, let's look at the alfalfa plant and uh, what it does for you okay this alfalfa plant physically or uh, medically uh, fights cholesterol in your system so if you you are someone who has a lot of cholesterol level uh, you have a high cholesterol level uh, by using of the alfalfa plant uh, the leaves okay by using it as a tea can help prevent the gut from absorbing cholesterol so uh, instead of the stomach absorbing a whole lot of cholesterol it it will help you uh, get rid of it now remember ginger can help you get rid of cholesterol uh, but the rate at which when you have the alfalfa plant or the alfalfa uh, leaves the dry one and then you apply it as a tea the way it can get rid or it can flush this cholesterol from your system will be very great remember that once you are taking such uh, herbs that get rid of cholesterol uh, you, you 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 take precaution if you are pregnant please i will advise you that do not take such medicine don't take such medicine if you are pregnant don't take the alfalfa plant tea because the baby needs all those uh, cholesterol and everything to come out successfully so please don't go there if you're a pregnant woman don't try it if you're having kidney disorder you are having problems with your kidney uh, they say you have kidney stones and other things uh, i'll recommend alfalfa plant for you drink it as a tea and then uh, give yourself some time okay uh, make it a daily routine uh, whilst drinking is at the tea as a tea remember it has to do with the kidney so make sure you are always drinking water okay now this is how it's going to happen when you drink it as a tea and it enters your system you urinate a lot and if you are urinating remember it's water that goes through the process to become a urine uh, if you are urinating and you are not drinking enough water you see traces of blood in your urine which you might think uh, maybe the, the alfalfa plant is not working properly for you but you might not be drinking enough water so drink enough water and then it will help you if you are an asthmatic okay if you get the alfalfa plant it can help you diabetic patients too can also use the alfalfa plant okay you can use it and then it will go a long way to help you now let's look at the vitamins that lies within this uh, alfalfa plant it has vitamin a c e k vitamin a c e k it has all these vitamins in it so, and you we all know what or uh, what these vitamins does to the body it has potassium it has calcium it has phosphorus and then iron it has all this so if you are an anemic if you are an anemic and you use uh, the alfalfa plant it's uh, it can help you boost your iron level which will go a long way to help you now quickly let's look at the spiritual aspect because today we have a whole lot of plans to uh, discuss you can keep your comments coming what you don't understand just ask question and then i will answer you just keep comments coming and then i'll be glad to answer you now spiritually what can alfalfa plant do for us if uh, you, you happens to meet me and i give you alfalfa plant and i tell you go and bath with it but go and bath with the alfalfa plant for let's say three days and come back and see me 
what is the reason why I am giving you that plant to go and use? Okay, why am I telling you to go and use it to bath? Maybe you might be going through certain spiritual endeavors, which it might be very disturbing to you. So, it has this ability to fight bad energies such as if you are bad energy or familiar spirits we have good spirits now the bad ones are the familiar ones they, they are bad but they can come in a disguised way that you might think they are good by the time you end up with them you are doomed i hope you understand so such familiar spirits and other things if you use the alfalfa plant as a bathing uh, remedy and then you bath for spiritual purpose and you bath with it it goes a long way to help you remember that in your spiritual endeavors there's one that you cannot omit spiritual bath is very very important spiritual bath that is why uh, most of these products that we produce at power life herbal center it has herbs in it like the soap the uh, the medicine the made and everything they all have herbs in it which helps spiritually so if you don't know much about for instance um, alfalfa plant okay if you don't know much about alfalfa plants i'm telling you today that alfalfa is so much and uh, powerful it can protect you from negative spirits so such negative spirits uh maybe if you are having financial difficulties if you are having financial difficulties and you use alfalfa plant to bath it can go a long way to help you and there's one wonderful aspect which i want you to uh, keep in mind if you have a nice kitchen or your, your kitchen when i say a nice kitchen meaning if you have a place you call kitchen where you prepare your food and maybe uh, day in and day out you struggle to make sure you are able to meet the three day square meal this is what you do get a jar when i say a jar a jar is something uh, it's a glass that has a cover or you can leave it open fill it with alfalfa leaves okay fill it with dry alfalfa leaves don't add any water to it and put it in your kitchen and most of the times when you go to for instance um suits that has kitchen attached to them well those of you who travel a lot like um you you do traveling as adventure adventure you you travel you you do you go for sightseeing and other things i'm telling you if you are a fan of that when you go on your next visit check the kitchen you might see certain leaves and other things in the, in the either in the living room or in the kitchen or in the washroom and you might think it's just there for decoration no it's there for a purpose and those things most of the times you will see that they are like straws like uh, straws and other things uh, some of them are alfalfa plants they are there to draw wealth to that property owner so when you come you will not leave the broke if you, came, you went there for vacation or you went there for business, whatever that you went to do over there, you, know, you will be prosperous. Everything that you uh, intend to achieve in life, you will achieve it. So, a alfalfa plant is something that draws worth in terms of you thinking about uh, affording the three square day meal. When you have the alfalfa plant, it goes a long way to help you. So, you need to get it and it will go a long way to help you. Now, alfalfa can manifest your desires in dreams. Most of you say, at times, for those of you who are into uh, prophecy, okay, who are into prophecy, at times people come to you one-on-one -on -one and then uh, they expect you to tell you everything. Please, it's not false, okay? Until it is revealed to you, there's no way you can say it. This is what you do. You can drink alfalfa tea before going to bed so if the person maybe comes to see you today you can tell the person to come maybe in two days time drink the alfalfa tea and go to bed have the name and the issue that the person presented to you in mind before you go to bed believe you me before you wake up you will have a prophetic dream okay vividly when i say prophetic dream it means dreams that tells you stage by stage 
what this is this, this is about what that is about it will give you all that and it will go a long way to help you in your ministry so if you're a pastor whatever and it, it has to do with your members how your members will be very very will be doing very well and in their daily activities in their works please don't forget to use alfalfa and then uh, another thing that you can use the alfalfa uh, plant for spiritually is spread the ashes of on the earth to call in whatever you need so what you can do is the dry alfalfa uh, leaves uh, what you can do is just spread that dry alfalfa leaves uh, you have a charcoal disc uh, charcoal disc uh, i don't uh, when i go on break i will get a charcoal disc and show you how it looks like now this charcoal disc enables you to burn whatever incense whatever leaves whatever thing that you are burning it enables you to burn it and then you get the ash you can separate the ash from the charcoal i hope you understand or you can mix that charcoal with the ash from the incense that you burn and it will still work for you so what you do is when you, you get your charcoal decks you light it and when as soon as you you touch it with matches lighted matches it lights and within few minutes it's red now just put the alfalfa leaves the dry one put them on it okay put quite an amount on it and let it burn and what you do is after it has burned and then the, char the charcoal decks has also uh, loves the flame in it just spread or sprinkle the ash on the earth and it will bring you a whole lot of wealth which you cannot imagine some of the things that uh, you need if uh, you want to own a piece of land if you want to own maybe your own company and other things whilst you are spreading it don't forget to mention or say that uh, i invite uh, the energy of good wealth the energy of riches to come into my life as i'm spraying this uh, farfa uh, ash on this earth and as you do that it will go a long way to help you so don't forget to use the alfalfa the next one is aloe vera producer can you display aloe vera for them to see because today we are treating about uh we are treating so many plants so we we'll have to uh, be moving step by step as fast as i can now alfalfa alfalfa producer producer can you display alfa, uh, aloe vera for me please aloe vera most of you know aloe vera right most of you have it in your homes but you don't know the usefulness of it most of you have aloe vera at home but you don't know the usefulness of it if you are diabetic what you can do is just get the fresh aloe vera okay you see the fruit in it the fruits in it just get rid of it and put them in a glass of water and drink it okay and drink it it will help you very very much now uh, that is just the simple way i will give you about aloe vera now aloe vera helps in protection a lot well if you if you live maybe in the asia side at times you might enter certain company whereby uh, they have these uh, they, they they have these aloe vera hand at the premises of the uh, uh, the entrance of the uh, of the company and then you ask yourself ah, what is this aloe vera doing here please the reason why that aloe vera is there is to serve as protection is to serve as protection okay aloe vera gives protection aloe vera gives protection producer have you seen the aloe vera okay so display it for them to see for those who haven't you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about aloe vera that is aloe vera on the screen now for protection planting aloe vera at the entrance of your home can help prevent accident from happening 
planting aloe vera at your home can help to prevent accidents from happening within that premises. I remember when I was a kid, uh, we used to have these pots, okay, flower pots. They were in a round shape, and then we had aloe vera in it, and they were just hanging uh, b beneath the wall and then the middle, uh, the ground, okay, in chains. Well, to me, they were just flowers, or the ladies were using it to cure their pimples. Because if you are having skin rashes and other things, aloe vera is very good for such uh, uh, diseases. Or if maybe you are having bacteria and other things, aloe vera is very good for such things. That is why most sanitizers have al aloe vera in it. So to me, they were the women were using it during the uh, monthly cycle i thought they use it so that they will smell fresh that is what i thought i never knew that uh, it was there to protect us from being harmed so at that early stage within the age of 13 to 17 as i was in that house there's no way that i happened where at times we could just go and try our luck by driving around okay when we hap it happens that we are home alone uh, we are back from school the car is there we just jump in it and then we not knowing the the others in the house knew that aloe vera has a way of protecting each and every child in that house even including the oldest okay including the oldest so what they were doing was they were planting aloe vera in the house okay and what in my house what we did was we had them hanging in a chain in the flower pots so at the four corners of the house the main house we had it hanging at the four corners and then when you are entering okay where the main gates the main gate and then the small gates are one is here and one is there and they were very humongous and all i could realize is uh my sister's my, my cousins and they would just go and then plug the st uh, steam and then try and apply it on their faces because they were having pimples and other things i am a man i was not having it and they would rub it on their skin just to for it to be smooth and other things i'm a man i didn't think much about it so to me i thought it was only for medicinal purpose i never knew it was meant for protection so if you are you are having maybe a machine you work with machine that is very deadly uh, for for instance if you're a contractor and maybe you are you've been issued a contract you are constructing road and uh, a day or two happens to have injury and you have to be sending uh, some of your staff to the hospital please this is what you do just get aloe vera okay and just hang them at the site where you are uh, constructing your road or uh, building your uh, constructed your building uh, just hang them there it will help to prevent accidents from happening and the way it helps to prevent accidents from happening is it works with your brain okay it works with your brain for those of you who are uh, snake phobia uh, uh, snake phobia okay let me tell you one thing if you enter this room and there's a snake here you will sense it okay if you enter this room and there's a snake here you will sense it that is how aloe vera works hand in hand with you where there's danger it tells you that there's a danger here so instead of going towards that side you take the other side and by the time you realize something bad had happened there but nothing will happen to anybody that is how it is i remember i traveled and then i had aloe vera hand in my car and there was this accident that I, I would have been involved okay but one way or the other i managed to apply wisdom to whatever thing that was going to happen and then the whole thing ceased so you see how it is with my aloe vera in the car it helped to prevent accidents so if you are a driver you can have aloe vera with you hang it in your car okay in its fresh stage or dry stage it can be in your car if you hang it and you think oh maybe they will talk another things just put it at your side let it be with you and it will give you that natural 
protection this is natural protection it has no strength attached to it so don't be disturbed that uh, when uh, uh, people see it they will think maybe uh, it's black art or something no this is not black art this is nature giving back to you giving you protection that you need so you have to bear it in mind so the dry aloe vera if maybe you are going somewhere you are traveling you are and you are not sure of the journey what you can you uh, try is get the dry aloe vera and then put it in your pocket it will help you if your kids are going to school and you know very well that these kids of mine uh, they will go and play football uh, like for instance my son Phil he, he plays football so uh, I'm always praying over here that he doesn't go and enjoy himself because if it happens then it's a big blow to me because that is my one and only football star so you can imagine so what do you think i'll do i'll make sure that any time that he's going on the field he has aloe vera on him why because it will help him out of accidents so if you're a footballer and you are always having injury anytime you go on the field please uh, try and maybe get yourself closer to aloe vera adapt aloe vera, aloe vera as your adapted plants and it will protect you from uh, injuries and other things the next one that we will go on before i go for a break is clove can you display cloves for them clove is very common it's the most wonderful spice that you can think of i remember last two weeks someone visited me at the office and then she had a uh, clove and she was confused whether it's clove or it wasn't so i told her to leave some with me i will verify from the original ones that i have and then get back to her so the next one is clove clove when we talk about clove what is clove okay clove is a spice it's a spice it's a spice what i think worldwide everybody knows what a clo clove is worldwide everybody know what a clove is now clove is most known for its ability to amplify love so if you don't know i'm telling you today for those of you who don't have love and you are always having issues with love and you want to know how just use clove as to how you use it i will tell you at the end of the uh, basics now for especially the women there are some women you can be on top of them for more than two hours and there's no way they will reach their orgasm please you have low libido you have low libido women that uh, if your libido is high at most five five to ten minutes you reach your orgasm i hope you understand but most women they've, they've never even experienced orgasm before okay you have no libido you will need clove you will need clove as a remedy to get rid of that low libido that you are experiencing or increase your libido to invite new love grand to invite new love grand growth press into a candle and burn so you can get a candle okay uh, for that candle you can get any candle uh, preferably green and then what you do is you get the clove the one on the screen granite into powder okay so you can get a mortar and pistol the wooden one as uh, i always tell you in class and then you grind it and then you push it in maybe you 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 you, you draw a hole beneath uh, uh, beside it and then fill it with the clothes powder and cover it with the candle that you took from there and then you burn it okay burn it and then once you are burning it please bear in mind if it is me reverend prince that you are burning for me to fall in love with you uh, have in mind that you are burning it so that i'll fall in love with you so what you do is write my name okay emboss my name on the candle with yours so my name plus your name 
plus the clove powder okay and then the candle and as you are burning it always have in mind that you should have an intention for doing it that is your faith for doing it and as you are doing it uh, if you love you genuinely love me and it is not last you, you don't just need me for j just one night stand but you genuinely love me uh, lo and behold uh, if my mind is not shifting to what you are thinking it will move there and then i'll start showing interest and then uh, it can continue from there then maybe generation can come out of it so that is uh, another thing that clothes can also do for you and then to help you with nightmares it fights against nightmares at times you alone the kind of dreams that you have always either you are being chased by a snake either you are being attacked Either, so many dangerous uh, nightmares and you wake up at dawn and you can't sleep again and you ask yourself why am I going through all this and out of these nightmares that you are experiencing to lo and behold some do happen at times I do get calls uh, from others that Reverend uh, we want to meet you uh, how can we meet you and then I will tell them oh uh, because of the nature of the school and so it's very difficult previously so it's not easy to meet me but they will tell you this is what i'm going to then i'll tell them okay do uh, if it's about night may use clove drink a tea made out of clove or burn clove as incense before you go to bed okay burn cloves as incense or drink it as a tea or use it as a spice in your food but it should be the main spice for the food okay so if it's preferably soup before you go to bed and it will help you very very much and uh, they tried it and then it's helping them so if you're having nightmare if you have a child and then the child wakes up at night and is going through a lot of battle and other things please uh, you can get the clothes for them to drink or burn it as incense for them to before they go to bed it fights against nightmares and we all know what nightmares that they can be very uh, dangerous to our brain or our brain mindset it can at times destroy even your whole day and how you even think can be a very very uh, disturbing now you see how those looks like uh, what you can do is to protect a child from evil eyes evil hand evil mouth if you have a newborn baby and uh, after some uh, weeks or some time people can start seeing that chart this is what you do close give protection okay it gives protection it has the ability to give you the protection that you need so what you can do for the child is as at the baby stage just make a bracelet out of clothes so it has this the clothes has uh, can you display it again so that i will show uh, viewers how the how they will do it now you see that the clothes comes in the form of a knot and then it has this uh, tiny thing beneath it at the bottom so what you do is just drill a hole at where it's round and uh, the round side drill a hole there and and then just put your thread in it so you can make it go round maybe about 20 or 10 of it and then make it use it as a bracelet for the child and put it on either put it on the hand okay put it on the hand of the child i mean the dry uh, glove put it on the child of the hand let the child wear it during the when people are coming to see the child I, any evil eye coming there to see the child with the intention of maybe coming to take whatever that the child came with will be blind will see will not see the chart will see the chart as invisible so whatever uh, qualities that the chart came on this earth with uh, will, will not be taken from or uh, from the chart so you have to have that in mind if you have a newborn baby please get it and then it will go a long way thank you Mr. producer uh, to prevent other energies from intruding on your mind simply add clothes oil on your forehead so if your children are going to school you know <laughs> at that early stage 
at that early stage before uh, they begin to uh, move to maybe upper primary you one will they have, have a, a child in that school that can type they tap on the knowledge that they are, they are like parasite it's not just that side from that lower primary to university they have a way of typing on the, your mindset to know what is there and take it so what you can do is use clove oil okay get clove oil and apply some on your forehead so if you are going to work and there's someone there who can be a ve very disturbing the energy that the person carries is very bad just get clove oil and apply it on your forehead before you go so you just apply it not in the form of cross but you do it this way eh? then a knot not a cross but you do it this way and then a knot and then that is it okay you are good to go now it's a symbol that when you do that symbol that you are doing with the clove okay it's a seal that any evil eye that seizes you or any familiar spirit that seizes you that will try to disturb you will definitely not succeed so that is another thing that you can do with clove as well to get the best out of clove gun it yourself with a mortar and pistol mix the grounded clove with salt for protection so if you have you are you want to protect yourself from familiar spirits from any bad entities and other things remember that i told you you cannot omit spiritual bath okay bathing with clothes because of the mint in it is going to be a bit uh minty but don't worry just add salt to it and heat it for a while like between three to uh nine minutes and let it simmer and filter it now when you filter it just wash yourself with that salt and clove and it will work for you or you can burn it as incense and it will also help you uh, to protect yourself so uh, let me go for a short break and drink water when i come back uh, there are a few comments on facebook and youtube uh, do we have comments on facebook please producer okay so when i come back from commercial break uh, we'll be able to check that yesterday i couldn't go for commercial break because we were discussing angels and i knew definitely discussing angels and mentioning certain names will not be easy but because of the love i have for you i had to do it so let's go for commercial break when i come back i'll read comments and then we'll continue god bless spiritual drive show. She a minimum of faith here for empower that power of life herbal center and my was spiritual drive show so aha me a share home 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 near me to say over there so that now we need to be there over so that now we did it and I said we'll be our pioneer one in our diet and I said you are able to say stroke diabetes hepatitis B and I said oh pet a war and you're discussing in a will show you so you also you're born pioneer man and mama born pioneer man there was a dear blue cow also, a blue away and also, and a back cow, Amawanya, a Wamoto, and no tea. She are many disciples. If you have any Uribia, a brave one or tree, a good moon, our collective, now be in China. For myself, we disciple in the host of Spiritual Drive Show. She are many more people here, here, bring power, the power of life, herbal center, and on my spiritual drive show. So. Aha, me a share home 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 near my witty said, Oh, better so than I would need Obida, O better so than I would be. An answer will be our pioneer one in our diet. An answer, you are real bit is a stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, hepatitis B. An answer, oh, pet a war, and you're better discussing in our show. So, you're also, you're born pioneer man, mama, the born pioneer man. You're also, you're a blue cow also, a blue away and also, you're the back cow, Amawanya, a Wamoto, and no tea. She are many disciples. If you have any Uribia, a brave one or two, a good one, I will collect TV. Now we're in China. 
come on some for the disciple near the host of spiritual drive show. She am in my play here here playing power that power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show so aha the share home who near my bit said over that so that I know need will be that over so that I know did and I said will be our pioneer one in our dying and I said yeah real bit is a stroke uh, diabetes uh, hepatitis B and I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet this can see me in a will show you. So, you was a you bomb fire man, mama. Oh, oh, That short, wonderful break. I, I need it. I need it. Over here in Ghana, is the weather is very hazy. So the uh, the more you talk, the more thirstier you become. So I needed to drink some water. We have some comments here. Phil, please. Hey, that's my son. He says that you do all fire, love, fire, 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 fire. Good, 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 good. That is my son. That is my son. Uh, and then the. Uh, uh, Matonto TV, say hi. I'm watching you. Okay, Matonto TV. Uh, we are glad you join us. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. And then Shana, uh, Shana, Shana. I think from South Africa. Eh? She said, Robert, can we also put the clothes under the pillow? Uh, when we get there, you will know, please. When we get there, you will know. Uh, we are at the stage where I'm going to demonstrate to you how you use some of these. Or when, whenever I say a uh, charcoal dicks, uh, it might be a bit confusing to you, and you will not you might think what is Reverend talking about. Now, this is a charcoal dicks. This is how it is. This is produced in the Middle East. Not that I'm producing product from the Middle East, but when it comes to spiritual items, okay, from my background, where I'm coming from, uh, all the product that I use for my spiritual purposes. Uh, from the Middle East. Why? Because they give me that 100% guarantee that when I use it, I will get my results. Now, what I have here is a charcoal uh, disc incense burner. Okay, charcoal disc incense burner. I was telling you about having you uh, grinding your clove. So I have a grinded clove here. Uh, it's very punching. If I burn it in the studio, I have a burning clothes here makes you sort okay makes you sort now remember we have the electric one and then the charcoal the charcoal dix burner for easy access for you to use at your home please always go for the charcoal dix burner because it's it is it is able to enable you or sorry it enables you to move within uh, the compound okay if uh, the smoke has to go through all the con corners of the compound you are able to do it as such okay so it is always advisable to use the dix uh, charcoal dix burner it will help you now so this is our uh, clothes okay this is our clothes with the sorts and then we have the charcoal decks here so you are having a nightmare and you want to prevent it you can't bath with it as a bathing uh, spiritual bathing 
remedy. What you do is the charcoal uh, dish is very light, uh, very easy to light. Just light your matches and touch the dish with it. Okay, touch the dish with it, and then it will start automatically. Once it touches it, and you you see it, you see it's burning. It's burning. It will not take less than one minute, and the whole uh, charcoal dish will be fully lighted. It has. It is already lighted. You can see particles of smoke coming out of it. You can see particles of smoke coming out of it. Now, about less than 20 seconds, it is halfway burned. Halfway burned. So, I will put it in my charcoal dish burner. So, I have it here in the charcoal dish burner. And then the cover. Okay. And then the cover. So, I have to leave it for it to dry. Uh, burn. I have to leave it for it to burn before I will add the incense that is from the clove. So it could be incense from aloe vera, it could be incense from whatever, okay? It could be incense from whatever. But for safety and precautions, please make sure you are using the right uh, equipment when it comes to spiritual work and it will go a long way to help you, okay? It will go a long way to help you. Make a barrier with mixture around your home to stop whatever may be harming you. At times, people can plant things on your compound. You may not know, especially those of you who who are who are building. Okay, you are building. I remember uh, someone came to me and told me that uh, Reverend. Uh, I don't know for one or two reasons I'm building, but whenever I go there, I'm not able to focus on whatever I'm doing over there, and I have to leave. Uh, what could be the issue to it? And and after doing the screening, the spiritual screening, we realized that something was planted there that was preventing the man from focusing on the building aspect. Okay, when it comes to financing uh, to complete the house, because the person living there has made permanent resident, he couldn't. So what I told him to, was to get a clothes, okay, a mixture of clothes, and then uh, make a barrier or plant it in the uh, in the land, so that whatever uh, charm that has been planted there will be uprooted. Now the charcoal is ready so this is what you do once it's ready and you are having night and you're going to bed you just need just a little bit of it just put it on the uh, charcoal disc the charcoal disc has this small space that will enable you to put your incense there now you see it's there you can it's very handy it won't bend you the but the electric one will not be able to move it around as i'm moving it this will not harm you okay this will not harm you it will give you whatever if you have to move it within the room or within your house you'll be able to hold it and move it around okay you'll be able to hold it to move it around so if you are asked to burn an incense this is a way that you can do it. This is a way that you can do it. For, so for those of you who don't know how to burn an incense, they think you have to light uh, uh, charcoal with the coal pot before you do it. No. Uh, you just get your charcoal dish incense burner, uh, then burn it. And, uh, it will go a long way to help you. So you can all see what is happening here. Well, I'm showing you how you will burn that incense. The bright complex warm scent of clove can stimulate your mental process, your memory, and open up your heart. I remember someone asking me, uh, Robert, is there any retentive memory? And I said, yes. Just get clove, grind it into powder as I showed you. Get honey and add it to it. That is your retentive memory uh, medicine. There's nothing that you will forget. Okay, and then it will open your heart, it will give you peace.
pure heart, whatever that you think, okay, will not be evil. Always, whatever that comes out of you will be positive. Okay, whatever that comes out of you will be positive. It will not be negative. And remember that burning of incense, burning of candle, and applying of oils are not evil. They are ways by which makes you uh, enable you to uh, uh, have that divinity. Okay, enable you to have that divinity right. So, for instance, if today uh, I'm supposed to mention a name of an angel whilst burning this incense, there's no way I'll do it because if it appears here. Uh, it's, most of you uh, might not be able to handle it so i will not do it okay i will not do it so let's go on uh, that is the, by the way how you burn your incense the process you use to burn your incense please can we look at dandelion dandelion whilst we are looking at dandelion uh, let's go to facebook and see the comments we have there and then uh, appreciate them as well because we are all one family we are all one family please if you are in my class and you want to make very good use of the class what i will advise you is always make sure you subscribe to the class okay subscribe to our facebook or youtube channel and it will go a long way to help you uh we have some messages that uh, i'll read uh, so that we will continue with the dandelion uh, from cynthia he said good evening click tv good evening uh auntie cynthia nana is he watching watching from achimota kwa uh akutema oh okay uh thanks for watching akutema i hope you are all doing well vora vora i don't see why i should mix religion with what is supposed to be pure practice with the involvement of herbs well uh when you are burning incense okay incense is from nature religion and other things are all from nature they are part of it but based on the doctrines that we are given whilst we were children and we grew up with it at times we think that certain things are evil certain things are not but our ancestors they were burning incense Okay, our ancestors were burning incense. They were using oils for uh, spiritual means and other things, but they did it with faith. There's no way uh, our ancestor will burn incense for a sick person without having a motive. The reason why maybe the reason why they are giving that sick person or burning that incense over that sick person is for that sick person to be. Uh, spiritually healed from that spiritual ailment that has been placed or curse that has been placed on the person so whatever that they did the main factor was faith the main factor was faith and when you mentioned religion I said that since I started practicing uh, spiritual things or th I started using things spiritually most of my things that I use I get them from the Middle East why because my brother uh, muslims are able to discipline themselves spiritually okay if they have to abstain from alcohol they will do that if they have to abstain from sex they will do that if they have to fast before they come up with that particular product they will do it genuinely before they come out with it no wonder they are leading uh, the world in terms of infrastructure and other things due to their sincerity okay so please don't get me wrong about that side they all believe in nature whatever that we do you cannot omit nature if we're a pastor and you say you don't believe in nature then uh, believe in me you are fake you are fake a pastor or a reverend minister should have faith in nature uh, very, very again why should I go through the process with faith? Well, that is what I told you. Our ancestors were using faith. Okay? They were using faith. Why would they tell you to go and bath with herbs? Those who have been with me, I give them herbs to go and bath with. Why am I telling them to use it? Because whatever they are going through, when they use that herbs, okay, to bath, they will come out successfully from that spiritual predicament. So, uh, the the right word okay the right word is intuition uh, which we all term as faith okay so when i say faith please don't get me wrong 
uh, thank you for your uh, question and then Tasuba uh, Bumanu says click TV the more the number one oh okay thank you very much and then um, King Suleiman watching live from Accra Apokwase King Suleiman thank you for watching uh, please keep your comments coming as I'm here and then I will read them for you I'll read them for you so I'm still here um, please remember that when you burn incense or when you, you are a Christian or a Muslim or whatever religious body that you belong to and you apply any of these things it's not wrong that is the right way he says we should worship him in truth and in spirit which uh, Christians are doing the truth aspect but when it comes to the spiritual aspect they don't do it and then when they are having issues they try to use other means which are familiar spirits to get solutions to their problem which ends them in trouble but if we could go back to what our ancestors were practicing it would go a long way to help us now uh, producer let's look at dandelion 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 uh, let's see some of the things that dandelion can do to help us uh, and then then we'll, we'll move ahead we'll move ahead drinking tea may made out of dandelion before going to bed can give you a prophetic dream so for most of you why can dandelion give you a prophetic dream you see the ways or the environment how uh, uncomfortable it is but the dandelion plant will come out of it that is how it is uh, where it is not easy to trap that is where dandelion will be working so it is able to penetrate to give you those hidden uh, answers which will go a long way to help you to be focused in productivity keep dandelion leaf with you so i don't know what you are doing maybe you are creating uh, you are now inventing a new technology you are now doing whatever you can have dandelion as, as adopted plant in a uh, flower pot beside you in your office okay it will help you uh, the energy surrounding it is nature it's natural that when you have it around you it helps you to be creative and it will go a long way to help you to keep your dreams from coming into realities use it keep leaves with you so it manifests so for instance you have a dream that uh, you are looking forward to achieve certain things and you had a dream about it that you are about to achieve it what you can do is when they say keep dandelion roots a uh, dandelion plant so you i will advise you to bath with it bath with the dandelion plant continually so you receive whatever that you dreamt about okay instead of keeping it with you bath with it and it will go a long way to help you and then uh dreaming of dandelion symbolize breakthrough comfort support when you are going through big challenges in life so if you dream of dandelion don't be worried don't be worried that hey uh, this plant that uh, according to reverend uh, where it trips is very difficult and things that i've dreamt about does it mean that i'm also going to face challenges in life as to when it comes to uh, how it struggles before it, it it comes as a plant no but rather it is a sign of breakthrough comfort support uh, from all challenges that you are going through so that is that for dandelion that is that for dandelion the next one is garlic garlic uh, please uh, for those of you who have bath with garlic before give me thumbs up then those of you who have eaten garlic before give me thumbs up now I remember I never knew they had uh, a delicacy okay a food made out of only garlic okay they fry it and this is what they do by the indians these indians look i'm telling you they are very great they are very very well in terms of creativity they are very very good i visited a friend who is an indian outside and the starter he served me with was a garlic uh cookie okay he had mix the garlic with something i don't know i told him to show me how to do it so that i'll prepare some when i get home but he told me he would send me the re recipe via whatsapp 
but I forgot uh, that I came back to Ghana. Uh, it was so delicious. It was like uh, a cookie. Okay, it was like a cookie, and it was very very delicious. Now you see how delicious garlic or how garlic makes things spicy. That is how when you bath with garlic, it makes you very it protects you. Now, if you are having spiritual issues, you don't understand. There's this leaf, okay? Uh, just get cassava, cassava leaf. Just get cassava leaf. Get uh, another leaf that uh, later on I'll put on the platform because I did not give that to the producer. So you get cassava leaf and then the garlic. Get them together and then bath with it, please. When you bath with it, do not let it. Uh, do not dry yourself with, uh, with towel. Please do it during the sun hours. You have to stand in the sun for it to dry or penetrate through you. Now, for those of you who cannot conceive, you are women. You are having challenges where you you will dream that someone is sleeping with you. You will conceive and then you have miscarriage. Just just get the cassava le uh, leaves with the garlic. Add a little bit of salt to it and add this uh, between 11 to 3 do it between 11 a.m to 3 p.m within these hours when the sun is above it for seven times okay as a lady if you are going through such uh, situations that we, you 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 get pregnant and then you will have miscarriage and it passes please use garlic and then uh, cassava uh, leaves with a little bit of salt the uh, the crystal one it will go a long way to help you to protect you from this uh, spiritual uh, magnetism that you are experiencing uh, garlic offers powerful protection so that is what i just said so if you are having uh, issues with protection it being health it being whatever if you use garlic it will go a long way to help you it showed you from evil energy so i remember i watched this movie that the indian man in his living in his living room every corner has garlic over there and then the lady asked him why is it that in your bedroom you don't have the garlic there but in the living room he said in the living room is where i talk to my god so i keep the go uh, the garlic here so that any bad energy that will come and if drop for what I'm telling my God will not be able to come. That is why I keep those garlic over here. But in my bedroom, that is why I do I go naked, I do everything. That is why I don't keep the garlic in my bedroom. So you see how it is. So when you keep garlic around you, it drives bad energy. It drives bad energy from uh, 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 it dropping from what you are discussing because at times through uh, prayer, when you are communicating with your god is not by saying all the tones and everything no prayer could be lord please i need that and it will come to pass okay when you say it with the purpose it will come to pass if you have been bewitched witches hate garlic witches hate garlic if you bath with certain leaves with garlic or if you bath with garlic alone or you just chew the garlic as it is just chew it like that there's no way if you whenever you go to bed or you have a newborn baby and uh, you don't use the clove for protection for the child uh, you can use garlic as well and it will go a long way to help and as i said everywhere there are gossips everywhere there are gossip you, people will gossip about you if you are in an institution or wherever where you are you feel that people are gossiping about you you can apply garlic okay and then it will it will blind people from uh, having access to whatever that you are doing people can see what you are doing that's why they are talking about it but if they cannot see it there is no way they can uh, discuss it so if you apply garlic uh, as a bathing uh, spiritual bath before you go to work so in the evening before you go to bed uh, bath with the garlic and then go to bed in the morning bath with your fresh water with your soap and everything spray yourself and go yeah you have that uh, protection from those um, uh, evil math gossip and other things are uh, evil math okay they are evil math the evil eyes will see 
and then the evil, evil mouth will talk and the more the evil mouth sees you and the evil mouth talks about you the more lower you become in the things that you do so you need to watch that as well and then use it it will go a long way to help you garlic protects you from uh, abusive spiritual attacks such as love spell that works against you people can do for girls for boys someone could be taking your husband or your wife from you at day, uh, daylight and you can't do anything about it please if you apply garlic to it okay it can break that spell most spells that are not uh, godly uh, whether that are not nature most spells that are not nature cannot stand uh, how do you call it uh, garlic so if uh, someone is taking something from you which you think is not right uh, you can use garlic uh, to fight such things please if you are in my class and uh, you know all this and then you stand there for it to happen to you then uh, i think you are not being fed yourself so you can just get garlic and get rose water mix it together and bath with it that is it shame is gone uh, abusive re relationship this man is beating you this woman is more treating you and you are still there why well, are you damp are you damp you are married so are you going to stay there and die let them go if you think maybe the senses are not working properly and the way things are going please apply garlic you, you whatever that has been used upon you will be lifted and then you know that uh, you are you are free to go and at times you you, you could be at fault you do things to someone and then they will curse you uh, the right help to use to lift this curse from you is garlic okay the right helps to use to lift this curse from you is to use garlic and it will go a long way to help you it will go a long way to help you so for those of you who are having spiritual issues and other things please use garlic and it will go a long way to help you uh, let's go to the page and see some of the comment can you please display the number for those who wants to meet me so that uh, when they call they, they can talk to the front desk executive and they make time to meet me anytime I'm available uh, because I do get such complaints uh, uh, from Shane I said Robert can we also put the clove under the pillow no this is what you do the clove okay before uh, if you have the zip the zip log bag uh, pillow you know we have some pillows that have zip okay b beside it what you can do is you can pack some clothes in it but make sure that pillow you will not sleep on it and make love else it will affect you okay just pack the clothes in it and sleep okay it will help you physically it will help with your lungs and everything and then spiritually too it will protect you from uh, bad energies and other things so please uh madam shida i've answered the question that you asked previously then for sina kumatum or say she says hi dad good evening uh god bless you for you helping us god bless you too uh, she's clapping and then first thing again he said hi dad good evening uh okay the same thing uh jb bisman he said hi jb hi uh yao yeah he says thanks and then Shina says, Thank you, Reverend. Uh, you're most welcome. Let's go to Facebook before we go to Nettle and see if we have comments there as well again. And then I think so far uh, we don't have any comments at Facebook. So let's go to Nettle. Nettle. Can you display Nettle, please? Nettle is derived from the word needle which is latin means burn okay burn when a needle pins you okay it is very it, it bends the same way when a uh, nettle gets in contact with your body it bends you when i say it bends it doesn't mean it's going to burn like the, if uh, the way i have um uh, how do you call it the charcoal dicks here and then when i put the incense on it the way it burns that is not how it's going to burn you but we have varieties of burn there are some that will eat you and some that will also 
give you excessive uh, there are varieties of bends some will eat you some will be a bit a bit meant and other things so you have to have it in mind but the metal that we are talking about will eat you okay it will eat you the first leaf or plant can inflict painful stains the leaves really hurts so when you see the nettle uh when you see the nettle leaf it is very very invincible those uh tongues on it they are very very invisible when you see it you will not be able to recognize that it has tongues on it why because it's it's colorless and it is beautiful it's very appealing when you are not careful and you you touch it it will when it gets in contact with your flesh it will go a long way to help you the stringent hairs are made of silica which breaks off into the skin and releases chemicals causing a haste mining reaction so the kind of reaction that it will give you will be very very uncomfortable because of the silica uh, that is made of and these chemicals that it rele releases uh, as you see you you see this uh, nettle on the screen uh, it's beautiful you you love to have it at flower in your house but be careful if you have it at flower in your house and you have kids uh, be careful because it can be a bit uh, dangerous to them if they, they play around that side most people call it the devil's claw they call it the devil's claw because when it touches you it's like something scratching you okay it makes itself known to you that i'm also here despite her fearsome stink she is an extremely useful and beneficial plant so aside it being fearful physically there are so many things that you can get from this nettle physically there are so many things that you can get from this nettle if for uh, due to modernization nettle at first you could only find it in uh, most of these forest areas but due to modernization right now i think all over the world you can get nettle even if you can't have it you can adapt some from africa and send it to wherever you are and to go a long way to help you after sharing what nettle can do for you uh, physically if you have hay fever boil and drink as a tea so what you do is please the nettle if you are having a hay fever you know hay fever can make you sound like a mad person i remember someone who was suffering from hay fever and then started talking and they said this person is mad meanwhile it was hay fever what you do is boil this fresh nettle the leaves pluck it okay be careful when you are plugging so that it doesn't touch your skin and boil it when you boil it it will look like lipton can we have the display of a board uh, nettle if you can search for it for me in a glass it's just like lipton please don't add sugar to it don't add milk to it drink it as it is don't add salt to it okay so you can drink uh, a full glass okay a full glass in the morning and then in the evening you boil it as a team now because of modernization what we do is we we have our kettle we boil to the last yes it's on the screen we boil it to the last degree Celsius when it gets the the kettle stops then you just get the leaves pour the hot water on it and you get it as lifting as it's showing on the screen and drink it it works very well for hay fever if you're having hay fever please nettle is very very good for you if you drink it it will work for you like magic and at the same time if you drink nettle as a tea it cleans out your urinary tract infections okay as it is over there if you are a woman or you are a man and you are having a urinary tract infection please you can drink nettle it will help you it will help you it boost when you drink the tea 
and you are lactation mother, okay, it will help you. How does it help you? The secretion of milk by the mammary grounds, it will boost it, okay, it will boost it. So if you are a nursing mother and uh, the breast milk is not flowing as you want, Please get natal tea and drink it. It will help you. Serve as a general energy tonic. In, if you've been ill for a while, so maybe you are down with a uh, certain sickness for a while, instead of going to drink uh, these energy drinks, which uh, uh, have these chemical additives in it, which can affect you, please, I would advise that you adapt the use of nettle tea drink the nettle tea as your energy drink so for instance you are having rashes all over your body it has become chronic to you it is in your blood okay you are having chicken pulse you are having it is in your blood what you do is drink nettle tea drink the nettle tea you can choose to dry it in a cool environment and drink it as a tea. When you uh, prepare it, you get it as it was shown on the screen in the lifting form. And then her leaves are delicious and high in protein and vitamins. So you can use the leaves if you are a breastfeeding mother and maybe drinking the tea uh, you, you know mothers at times breastfeeding mothers they like sweet things drinking the tea you feel very uncomfortable please you can use it for your soup you can use it for your stew and then it will help you all these benefits can be derived when you cook them first please because of the Itching content in nettle, it would not be advisable to just get the fresh nettle and then blend and drink it. Please, I would not advise you don't go and drink fresh nettle and start having itchy and then you come and tell me, Reverend, uh, you, you you gave lectures on nettle and I took it and I started having itching in my throat. Please, I said, apply heat to it before you drink, the heat kills this thing. Uh, uh, properties in it so please have that in mind Neto is well known for its great healing abilities it has been run as a protection plant against being uh, prostrate so if you are having prostrate you are a man and you are having prostate enlargement and metal is recommended for you so for the men uh, say no to prostate no more if you are having prostate and it's enlarging and if you are it has just started please get metal get metal from your organic shop and start drinking it as a tea as it will help with your prostate. Metal is known also for its iron booster can be used for soup as well. But please, for those who are anemic, if you are using it, you can use it for soup, okay, which will help you. But if you are using it for prostate, drink it as a tea. Don't drink it as a soup, please drink it as a tea if you haven't felt a metal stench then you haven't experienced this wonderful nature enough each and every one of you should get itself or your skin attached to a metal leaf and feel how it is and feel how it is it will help you very very much for you to experience how nature is it, it 
by a way of you getting closer to nettle so if maybe you've adapted nettle and anytime you are going to water it you stand at a fire and then you, you sprinkle the water on it please get closer to it and then let it touch you and feel you feel it a bit it will go a long way to help you if you are having arthritis there are so many people and one one uh, good thing okay uh, most people that come to power life herbal center i always thank god for my think that uh, some of these uh, plants that at times i i do my own research before i come but when she enters my office and she realizes this is what i'm choosing she goes like ah, do you know this same plant is in this medicine and it can do a b c d then i'll ask her sit down and then elaborate more for me i hope you understand so that is one good thing about power life herbal center and talking about power life herbal center uh, i nearly forgot please if you are in the united kingdom you are in europe there's no need to come to ghana for any p life product please all you have to do is to call the number on your screen it being power life pico flesh uh, the herbal spiritual soup the herbal spiritual pomade uh, the buffing powder with the garlic and whatever uh, for the white medicines and everything please contact healing hands heart in the united kingdom contact them and they will give you all these products they will give you all these products just call them right now call them right now and the number is on your screen plus four four seven seven one zero nine 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 zero two or plus four four seven four zero four eight five two one four eight please call them right now it being the oils that i import and amplify them you can get them over there as well you can get them over there not necessarily you meeting me one on one before you can get that oil you can also get it from them so call them tell them what you are going through if you are having arthritis please uh nettle is very good for you start drinking nettle tea okay or start using nettle as part of your food mix it with your stew mix it with your soup it will help with this arthritis and if you are anemic as i said already you can also use it for soup and it will help you very very much it will help you for you to detoxify your system your human system please drink nettle it will wash out every toxic there are some people they cannot sweat at all and they say they are okay i'm not sweating and i'm okay you are dying you are dying slowly you are not okay please use nettle for you to open those little tiny holes in the skin so that you can sweat because remember not all this waste can come through your urine or your uh, excuse me your feces excuse me to say some will have to come in the form of fluid some will have to come in the form of uh, sweat as well so if the sweat is not coming then it means you are having problem with your skin start using metal as a tea or part of your uh, ingredients for preparing food and then it will open this uh, little tiny holes in the skin for you to benefit as well now let's look at the roots have just as many beneficial medicinal components drop inside them they will treat a large prostrate symptoms so for those of you whom i first of all discuss with that if you're having prostrate drink it as a tea and to help you that is the leaf if you're having a prostrate like it is start showing drink it as a tea it will get rid of it it is already there and it is enlarged you are having large prostrate when you go to the washroom small pill then you come out within five minutes then you keep on running i remember i took a flight uh, from um, athens to uh, one of the countries and it was about 14 hours flight and this man 
who was about two seats ahead of me, kept on visiting the washroom within that 14 hours flight. So you can imagine what I said in my head is either the man is suffering from prostrate, okay, either he was suffering from prostrate, and lo and behold, when we landed, uh, they helped him out of the flight, and he was uh, an ambulance was waiting, which uh, took him straight. I don't know whether to the hospital or uh, whatever he was going to receive treatment. So if you are having prostate enlargement, just go and get the roots of the nettle. Get the root of the nettle, okay, and boil it and drink it. Remember what the energy or the energy that the root carries is quite different from what the leaves carries as well. The energy has a whole lot of energy than the leaves. The same thing applies to dandelion. Dandelion roots are very powerful, so where you are going to take your nettle roots from, be, be careful and be sure that it has no uh, toxic artificial chemicals over there it has to be natural that is why you need to adapt your own or go deeper in the forest where the uh, the soil has not come in contact with any artificial chemicals please make sure you get your nettle from the right source your nettle roots from the right source don't go and use any root at all it will go a long way to affect you from any soil sorry don't go and use nettle roots from any soil it will affect you why because you are using is like getting uh, from the right source okay you are getting the roots for you are using the medicine from the right source is the root that brings you the leaves and the steam and then everything okay so if you are going to use the root to cure yourself of your prostate enlargement, then you have to make sure that it has no additional chemicals added to it. If it does, it will go a long way to affect you. So please have it in mind. And if you are pregnant, avoid metal. Pregnant women should avoid metal. You can only take it after delivery. You can only take it after delivery if you are pregnant please avoid metal avoid the metal uh, leave avoid the metal root as well as metal can cause uh, urine contraction also keep in mind that uh, medication for diabetes in treat with nettle as the plant also has glucose lowering prop uh, properties so the nettle plant or the nettle root it can also help with glucose lowering so if you are having diabetes and you are taking the nettle be careful that when you take it 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 is going to lower your glucose level okay so if you are having high glucose and you want to balance it you can use the metal root to balance it and i remember in class uh, there are some that uh, we, when i treated this in class uh, some use it and they were having discomfort in sleep because they had to wake up uh, like four times in the night to go and urinate and i told them they should continue to stop i hope you understand they should continue to stop once the, the glucose level balances all those uh, frequent urine and other things will stop and then uh, it will help with your diabetes as well but you have to be careful as to how you use the root be careful whilst you are using it you should be checking as well let's look at certain spiritual benefits that we can get from metal Please, the year is coming to an end. Uh, English Telegram class, let me know uh, so far what you have learned from what I've, the lectures I've given you so far. If there are questions, you can bring them on so that we will discuss if not today. Uh, when I come next, God in the next year, we will discuss them. By planting metal in your garden, 
it amplifies the properties of all other plants you grow so uh, the way it is it is a uh, small boy danger but when it is amongst your plants or your your medicinal plants that you have in your home it is able to influence them to do positive things hence adding the leaves with other herbs will amplify those energies tenfold so if you are maybe preparing an incense dry your metal leaves and add them to maybe your clothes or whatever for your spiritual purpose and then it will amplify the ten times folds for positive energies in your home sprinkle the leaves in a glass of water and place them in each room so it's just like a diffuser what you do is uh, you can blend the nettle leaves in a fresh stage remember this time that you are blending it in the first stage you are not going to drink it you are using this as, as a diffuser so you get a glass and then you put that metal liquid in it okay and leave it in the room so if you have about four rooms each room leave a glass of metal in there if there are misfortunes and uh, misunderstanding happening in that house or in that particular environment it will get rid of all those energies the kind of uh, aroma that will surround the room bad energies will not be able to stand them if you have access to metal please try this and bring me the feedback please try it and bring me the feedback just get glass maybe a drinking glass transparent one blend your nettle and then fill it with uh, the nettle and place them in each room you can place it in your bedroom your living room each place you, you can place one even in your kitchen you can place it in your kitchen and then bring me the feedback to bring secret to light if you feel someone is keeping something from you please burn metal while speaking their names and in just few days the secret will be revealed most of times okay for instance um i am very someone who is very spiritual i don't joke with my intuitions when something tells me this is not right it's not right i went somewhere and whilst i was there i had this vision that things were not okay so i left and lo and behold, today everything started folding to me, and I was like, "Wow!" So if I had not followed my spiritual guidance, I would have uh, whatever that was going to happen would have happened to me. So you see how it is. Uh, at times, people try to hide secrets from you, but if you know how to apply these herbs, this nature, it will come to your advantage. So please try and then uh, get them burn them as incense and mention the name of the person that you think is hidden secret from you and it will come to pass it can uh, when you burn it as incense too it can give you protection as well applying metal can give you good dreams and feeling both calm and nurtured so if your dreams are unstable uh, you you are having wild dreams and other things that puts you in an uncomfortable zone please you can apply metal you can apply metal and it will go a long way to help you apply it as a tea before you go to bed or apply it as incense as incense uh, before we go to the next plant which is lavender uh, there are comments here let me read them and then uh, we will we'll come back to it uh, please uh, from Shina he said is there another way of paying <coughs> for the telegram class like world remit or beside the money app the mobile money app for SA only cater for local numbers oh so you are part of the telegram class 
happen to okay please uh, why don't you call the front desk uh, the front desk executive will be able to assist you as to how you'll be able to help with the telegram class okay uh, she'll be able to help you she'll be able to, the, the number is on the screen call that number and uh, as to how you'll be able to uh, help uh, she'll direct you as to how you do it from christiana Nyangome say yes metal is small boy danger yes small boy danger uh, i remember when we were way back in school we used to have uh, those who were the smallest among us were those who were always causing problems they would be behind the big boys and then they would push them to go and be in trouble so uh, we call Neto small boy danger yes we call Neto small boy danger let's look at uh, uh, facebook if we have more comments from there and then uh, we'll continue with uh, lavender we'll continue with lavender uh, i think so far uh, i work from we have we have some comments from eric and he said please this num this is my number uh, please it's very very risky to put your number on social media platform don't do that if you can delete it okay i don't know why you posted your number i don't know what it's for but please uh, please if you can delete it it's not good whatever you need please call the number on the on the screen and discuss it with the funders executive if you need me uh, i'll assist you no matter how it is if it's within my godly power i will assist you to get whatever it is yeah we are told to apply faith so that people from wherever yeah we are told to apply faith so that people won't think it is juju or something no please this is why i uh first of all click tv is here juju bosom and other things our our ancestors believe and all those beliefs without faith there's no way they can achieve it i hope you understand all those beliefs there's no way they can achieve it and based on the doctrine that we were given as we were growing up that if you use herbs is bosom if you use this is juju is what has landed us in this situation and that is why click tv is here to educate you okay so uh that is it uh boy, boy, i don't have anything with herbs or incense but my question is my faith well if your question is with your faith find within yourself and see your intuitions before you do things do you just wake up and do it don't you have structure as to that uh, today i'm going to work and when i'm going after work this is what i'll do or, or you just move and then do things on your uh, without planning okay if you plan that is faith if you plan before you do things that is faith if you don't plan it's no faith i hope i've been able to answer you uh vora vora so that is it so if you use incense and other things it's not our song song uh, whoever tells you it's a lie you or she doesn't know what uh, they are talking about because uh I, i've used it it has helped me and i've never had any implications as to whether i have to go and sacrifice something in place of that nature thing that i use or nature that i use for my own benefit so please if you are having such uh, things as to going to pay th some thanksgiving for something that you ha happens to be done for you through nature then please uh, it is not out of nature it is out of uh, mankind's wisdom so be, be, be careful of that the next one is lavender please can you display lavender then uh, since uh, you are still in your christmas uh, mood uh, we will end today's own uh, i have never uh, work with a producer that enjoys himself to that level before uh, click stops you can enjoy yourself i learned someone just also just arrived from kumase uh, it's almost 10 meaning he set off around four or three he just arrived and that's disciple he went to enjoy himself uh, he went to enjoy himself that is lavender on your screen that is lavender on your screen you can find them mostly in the Mediterranean, Middle East, and India. To God be the glory.
Now, Ghana, we also have Laventa. Okay, we also have Laventa. Laventa can be adopted, but we need full sun and a bit rocky soil to grow well. So if you want to grow lavender, these areas that I mentioned, they are very rocky and very sunny. That is why they can grow very well over there. The lavender plant can uh, reproduce its flowers for more than 9 to 10 years. So if you have just one plant of the lavender, uh, if you have just one plant of lavender, it can reproduce flowers for 10 years. So if you adapt one, be sure and be rest assured that it will be with you for more than 9 to 10 years. Lamenta also known as F leaf. Lamenta is most common of all herbs. When you drink lavender tea, it calms your nerves down. Those who are having issues with their nerves, uh, whenever they are talking, they are shaking and other things, please, if you give them uh, lavender uh, tea, it will help them to be very very calm we have kids who are very hyper no matter what you if you tell them to sit here they will be, you come and then they are there even adults they can't just sit at one place please give them lavender and then it will help them uh, to be very calm uh, keeps negative energies away from you so if you have lavender it keeps negative energies away from you so for those of you who are having negative energies today i think so far all the plants that we have featured uh, the first two all talks about negative energy so i think it is very important as we are entering into this new year we tackle this negative energy so that they don't end up disturbing us in the middle ages lavender was used to launder launder clothing hence the similarity between the words uh, lavender and lunda and washing women were known as lavenders because of its aroma uh, those who were doing laundry and other things in the olden days like they were wa washing for those who go to war what they will do is uh, whilst they are going for the war we have uh, women amongst them who will wash their clothes for them because they believe when they uh, they stain their dress with blood it needs to be washed and it has to be fresh and the more fresher it is the more they are able to fight uh, ahead or they don't stink for their enemies to know that they are coming and the more reason why they were washing it is that when you stain your dress with blood and you leave it for overnight when you come for it it will be stinking i hope you understand so if you are going to fight with someone your opponent and they ambush you or you have ambushed your opponent once they get there they realize that there are flies and everything over all over that area so they will know that people have ambushed there or they are dead animals so they will try to look for it and in the course of looking for it they will end up rather killing you so in order to feel fresh what they were doing was to make sure once they are going for the war they have women following them with lavender who will wash their armor for them so they will clean themselves with the lavender and everything which makes them feel fresh and those who were doing most of that were the romans the romans were always looking uh, feeling fresh that when they ambush you there is no way you can uh, uh, identify them that they are, they've they, they've laid ambush why because they were always feeling fresh if you spray you have a perfume and you spray it here there's no fly there's no way fly will come in here the way we are burning incense over here there is no way uh, bad energy will come here or physically a fly will enter why because the place smells very fresh i hope you understand so that is why they were using it so you have to get uh, the understanding of that one as well for lavender for those of you who don't know the uses of lavender they think it's just for perfume no lavender is a plant that you can use it for so many means it's edible uh, is for cosmetics and other things so please uh, bear that in mind uh, it relieve it relieves you from fatigue if you are very very tired like for instance today when i get home and i get my eleven thirty, uh, i will drink it and sleep okay just eleven thirty without sugar or milk and then i will drink it if you are someone who cannot drink it raw like that you can add sugar or milk to it 
and there will be no cause for alarm if you don't have diabetes or something you can go uh, and do it if you have stiff joints if you are always having uh, you wake up and you are having stiff joint and your joints are paining you and other things please drink lavender tea it will help you drink lavender tea it will help you lavender keeps uh, buffs away from the human system so harmful microorganisms like that grows within your skin or within your like uh, like allergies and other things that can affect you as a result of the food you eat and other things if you drink lavender tea it helps you uh, to protect you from these uh, allergies it helps you to protect you from these allergies and then uh, you can use lavender as a diffuser most people uh, that uses diffusers they generalize it as lavender why because uh, at times it could be rose diffuser it could be uh, rosemary diffuser it could be uh, nettle diffuser but because lavender is well known for its diffusing uh, system all diffusers have been termed as lavenders okay uh, lavender can be used as a diffuser and when a lavender is used as a diffuser it drives away bad energies so and it pre prevents accidents as well so for those of you uh, you are driving and then a fly happens to enter your car and you are moving with it please uh, if you are highly spiritual you will not leave that fly in the car they are one of the agents that they, uh, they can use to trace where you are as a gps you see how tiny they are uh -huh. whilst they are trapped in the car uh, and people are looking for you spiritually they can trace you with that fly and know that oh you are this particular area and then uh, whatever that if you are not spiritually fortified they will be able to attack you so if you are driving and a fly happens to enter your car please if you can pack and get it out when you don't have lavender in it please do if you have lavender in it just leave the lavender to diffuse and automatically it will get rid of that uh, fly from the car because they can't stand the sweet aroma of that uh, lavender that comes from it another way that you can make your own diffuser is get a cotton get a cotton and then get your lavender flowers and mix it with water mix it with water and put it in the cotton and leave it in your hall or wherever it is it it will serve as a diffuser for you if you can't afford the diffuser or even you can't afford uh, the one the manufactured lavender in your car you can prepare one for yourself and put it in your car just get a cotton with the lavender uh, flowers and mix it with it and then it will help you to get rid of any energies as you are moving uh, about your daily routine so that is another way you can use it you can use lavender uh, for your fan okay you can use lavender for your fan as fan diffuser and it will help you or you can use it as a heat diffuser as i'm having uh, the the incense made out of the clothes here okay the clothes that i am burning it's a burning diffuser okay when i put it on the smoke that comes out is a burning diffuser which is out of the clothes i hope you understand which is out of the clothes so you see how long this this can go for it can go for two hours and it will still be burning just one dex can go for two hours and it will still be burning so uh, for those of you you can get it and then uh, get it and it will go a long way to help you for relaxation add drops of lavender into baths so we have a uh, crystal lavender baths we have essential lavender oils which i have here uh, we have uh, lavender incense i have them here as well now when you have lavender incense and you are having sleepless nights you can't sleep please just light your lavender incense in your room let it burn and enter you will sleep like a baby 
you will sleep like a baby. Or if you have the diffuser and you put it in the room, you will sleep like a baby. If you can't, you are having fatigue and you can't do anything, and you have the tap, fill the tap with the Gaventa crystal salt. Fill the tap with the Gaventa crystal salt. Let it be highly concentrated, and just lie in it for about 20 minutes, okay? And then just let the water go and wash yourself with fresh water so that you don't feel salty, and then come to bed. You will sleep like a baby. So these are some of the things that lavender can do. And I remember in the uh, ancient time, or during the time of our ancestors, they were using lavender to relax themselves at evening when they are telling fairy tales to us, our ancestors. You see that they will have uh, this fire, and they will have the lavender that they will put in the fire. For those of you from uh, those age you understand me they will have the lavender and they will put it in the fire and the aroma that is coming will drive away mosquitoes as well so whilst, whilst you are sitting by the fireside and you are being told stories of our ancestors the lavender is protecting you so by the time maybe it's nine o'clock you will feel very sleepy and then maybe the grandmother or the grandfather will tell each and every one okay now all of you go to bed i hope you understand and you sleep and sleep very well uh, for those of you in europe and uk for those of you in europe and uk please you don't need to come to ghana before you can buy any product of mama Vic. all you have to do is to contact the number on your screen helen hans hat contact helen hans hat if you are having past whatever issue that you are having to god be the glory helen has heart is uh Vick's representative in uk and europe when you contact them all products that mama Vick produces we have it there uh, very soon they are making arrangements so that they will spread it across europe and uh, closer to a shop near you so that if you need it you can get it as well uh, but before then Called Healing Hands Heart, whatever, if you are having white, whatever it is, uh, if you need back to send them some of these oils that I've done and other things, you can contact them and then they will get it for you and it will work for you like magic. Please, uh, for most of you who are having difficulties at uh, work and other things, if you get this product, uh, it will help you. What I, I always recommend for most people is the soap and the cream they go hand in hand whilst you you bath with the soap in the morning you see how greenish it is and then you use your black uh, spiritual pomade as well uh, it's all smell of herbs and it helps you these are the practice of our ancestors they were practicing that but due to modernization due to religion at times we say that those things as we were were saying uh, were voodoo or they are some some please they are not they are rather the right way for you to get your breakthrough without hustling so if you don't want to hustle uh, in life and other things please try it and it will go a long way to help you uh, on uh, youtube we have lily bitter he said please Reverend. Please, we need something landlords about all kinds of issues, them for outside. Oh, oh please, Reverend, we need something landlords about. Or, okay, if you are a landlord and you are outside and you are having issues with your house, maybe uh, the people living there and other things is a bit disturbing. You haven't completed the house for release and they are disturbing you please what you can do is get the clove okay get the clove and then the salt as i said earlier one it will go a long way to help you uh, make a barrier around it whatever that they have planted there that does not uh, give you that focus on that particular land you'll be focused to do whatever it is that you have to do over there so uh, i think so far the comments that came uh, on youtube I, i'm done with it let me look at that of um, uh, Facebook as well. If the comments there, then I'll read it and then we'll wrap today's last edition of the English class. I think that is all for uh, YouTube as well. That is all for YouTube and Facebook as well. So, um, for the year 2021, uh, this is where we'll wrap 
of our English last edition class. We had Danny Ba coming to like, Kwesi Ebuse coming to like, Train Atta Williams coming to like, Jerry Jesse coming to like, Stephen Annan, Stephen Annan coming to like, Hamidu Mu Nuhu coming to like, Shadrach Amu coming to like, Richard Miller coming to like, Kwesi Bezima coming to like, Vera Apia coming to like, uh, Mary Akom coming to like, Nana AC loving us, uh, Isaac Sam liking, Nana Raba Mason liking, Aumi Yali Dockers liking, uh, Nana Kojo Erickson liking, Bra Elom GH liking, uh, Hami Dutu Adams liking, Charity uh, Dimasi liking, Cynthia Avoye liking, Wilfred Adams pass through. Uh, for Sina uh, Hassan also passed through uh, Tasumba Numa uh, Numa who also passed through uh, Nana Ekwaba Nimako also passed through uh, King Suleiman passed through Emmanuel Tete also passed through and then we had two lads from Nana Esi and uh, Tasuma uh, Numa who also loving us so uh, to each and every one of you who joined us today, we really appreciate you for coming to class today. Uh, the last edition of Click Telegram class. Thank you for coming to class and uh, thank you for being with us all the time. We really, really appreciate you. Raphael Ni Amwa Afutu says, Good evening. Good evening, Raphael. Uh, I hope uh, you can do a recap if you just join us and you will be blessed. Uh, so, basically that is what uh i have for you for tonight please god willing next week tuesday i'll be coming your way remember we just started the uh edition with the angels yesterday we started with the eight angels of virtue and then we discussed what each and every one of them do and then they sell god willing tomorrow we'll be looking at the nine uh nine and uh, the next one which is the nine aspect of as well so please make time between three to five and meet me and let's discuss it if you have any question you can send it ahead you can send it ahead uh, on the whatsapp line the click office line can you display the click office line please each and every one of you who wants to meet me uh, at first i was making it every saturday but uh, due to the nature of the work i have to adjust this and make it myself available within the days as well so when you call the office line and you want to meet me uh, you can you can meet me and whatever that it is that is disturbing you both if it's a physical ailment we will sit down and see how we will use helps to treat it for you to be okay if it is spiritual we will see how we will use helps for you to be okay as well god willing uh, between 3 p.m to 5 p.m tomorrow when is uh, wednesday i'll be here uh, this is the last edition of our english class for click telegram class 2021 god will meet 2022 for the first edition of the english class the creator be with you all bye bye of spiritual drive show. She a minimum of a year being power that power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show so aha near share moon 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 near me to say over that so that I know when you will be that over so that I know what and I said will be our pioneer one in our diet and I said you are real bit is a stroke diabetes hepatitis B and I said oh pet I won't I bet it's considering you know I will show you so you also your bomb fire mom mama the bomb fire mom there was a dear blue council, a blue away and also a little bit of a moment. A one more talk. A naughty, she are many disciples. If you have been here, a black one or more, a good moon. I will click TV now. Be in China. Former son for the disciple near the host of spiritual drive show. She are many more of a year being power that power of life herbal center and on my was spiritual drive show. So. Aha, near Shepherd Moon, near me, said, Obeda Suda, and I would need Obeda, Obasuda, and I would be, and I said, Obi, our pioneer, one in our diet, and I said, Yarrabit is a stroke, diabetes, hepatitis B, 
and I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet this in a show you so. You also, you bomb fire man, mama, the bomb fire man. You also, you drew cows or a draw away and also, you never come. I'm a winner, a one to a naughty. She are many disciples. If you're then you will be a brave one or not. I will click TV now. Be in China. For disciple near the host of spiritual drive show. She am a mama play a year power that power of life herbal center and my was spiritual drive show. So aha, near chef moon near me said, Obeda Suda now we need Obeda. Oba Suda now we did an answer will be our panier one in our diet. An answer, diabetes a stroke, diabetes, hepatitis B. And I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet this can see me in a show you so. You also, you bomb fire man, mama, the bomb fire man. You also, you do a cow also, a draw away and also, you do a cow, a mawenya, a wahoto. And Nunti, she are many disciples. If you have any you will be a brave one or not. I will click TV. Now we in China. For disciple near the host of spiritual drive show. She am a mama play a year power that power of life herbal center and my was spiritual drive show. So aha, near chef moon near me said, Obeda Suda now we need Obeda. Oba Suda now we did an answer will be our panier one in our diet. An answer, you are real bit is a stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, hepatitis B. And I said, Oh, pet, I won't. I bet this can see me in a show you so. You also, you bomb fire man, mama, the bomb fire man. You also, you do a cow also, a draw away and also, you do a cow, a mawenya, a wahoto. And Nunti, she are many disciples. If you have any, you 